feel you suffer under occupation? From number one to ten. Ten is the highest, one is the lowest. Eleven. Eleven? Eleven. Describe I, that. I, I'll tell you why. Because I can't travel as easy. I cannot uh, travel between cities. I'm talking about the West Bank cities. I can't uh -huh. travel through the West Bank cities as easy. I can't go to Bethlehem. If I'm invited to an event in Bethlehem, I have to make sure that I am ready about four hours before and then make sure that I'm going to come back home safe because the roads are really bad and the checkpoints are really... Uh, it stops the... And it means to travel to France or Italy where I import some products. I have to go through Jordan, which is four different transportations for me to get to the Jordan inside. One bus, another bus, another vehicle, another vehicle, and going through all these checkpoints and all this uh, accumulation of humans. Uh, So, on a scale of one to ten, from one to ten, one being like no, ten being high, how much do you suffer because of the occupation? Ten. Ten? Why? It's uh, sort of uh, political and uh, economical. Okay, explain. Well, explain. Well, Give me an example. Example. Uh, there is a uh, high of uh, 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 challenges here. You can't live, you can't uh, transport from a city to another city. You can, yeah. yeah. Between cities. Between cities. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, li a, li a little bit uh, one of the most important things in our life to transport. Okay. So we're at a um, we're at a flying checkpoint in the West Bank, and I want to ask you, uh, from uh, w one to ten, how much do you suffer under occupation? Okay. I suffer a lot. Yeah, 30 minutes are free would be difficult. Sorry, it is ironical. So why is there a checkpoint here? Hey. Uh, you know, annoy people. Okay, thank you, a Domino's guy. Right. So, so how, okay, we're talking about the occupation. Right. So, okay, so the question actually is, on a yeah. scale of one to 10, yeah. one being really low, 10 being really yeah. bad, yeah. how bad is the occupation? Like, for me, I, because I go and travel to back, keep going and coming to the UK, so it kind of, it kind of, it's kind of a problem for me because okay. I can go through like, the Jordanian borders and then from the Jordanian Ayu, borders. Ayu, true, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like I never get like a, a permission to go through the... Like, the Israel. Israel, through Israel airport, yeah. Mm. So yeah, like from 1 to 10, I think I'll pick like 8, 8, yeah. Okay, in terms of... Um, do you think you, from 1 to 10, 10 being big, how much do you suffer under occupation? I think it's 10. Okay, what, what, how do you suffer, in what ways? It's the freedom of uh, transportation. It's a really big issue here. To where? To, to Jerusalem, for okay. example. Okay. Uh, I have never been, uh, for example, to... To Nablus, I have never been to... Why don't you just go to Nablus? Because it's, it's difficult to go to Nablus. Uh, I go all the time, come on. You go all the time, but uh, I just uh, have a difficulty of... I just uh, get worried a lot. When okay. When going to, to Ramallah, to Nablus, because you always have a checkpoint. To Sweden last summer. I went with my friend uh, to Ethno Sweden. Uh, it's a, 
instrumental musical experience. Uh, we met uh, like uh, 10 nationalities. It's like uh, we meet uh, uh, people from uh, friends from Canada, uh, England, etc. From Europe. And I passed through. I have uh, another passport. It's a Chilean passport. A what? Chilean. Chilean. Chile. Yeah. Chile. Chile. Yeah. Chile. Chile. Yeah. Chile. Chilean. <laughs> Chilean passport. And uh, I got through. But my friend, his name was Tarek. Uh, with the Palestinian ID, he got troubles, and uh, uh, they called the police. They they don't know what is the Palestinian uh, uh, In passport. Sweden. It's Sweden. Yeah. Okay. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel.